Welcome back guys to another babbling beer review. And what a day to do it. I thought I'd do it today. I, did, I never thought I'd see us here again, you know, not, not after the last Euros where we could have won it, but I really didn't think we'd be here again, uh, especially the way we started out that this tournament. But um, yes, come on. Only a little while to go now until we find out if we can bring it home. Is it coming home? What do you think? Is it going to come home? Who knows? We'll find out. What I did bring home was some nice beer though from my local brewery, Tintagel Breweries, uh, for this. And it, it, it's really quite ideal for this, really. Uh, it's it's a lot. I haven't done this on my channel. I've done a few from Tintagel Breweries, but not this one. Um, it's a 4.2% pale ale. Um, and I think it's very apt for uh, the English game as well. You know, it, a, a nice sort of mythical beer mythical characters i say babbling beer reviews guys it wouldn't be babbling beer reviews if you weren't here would it <laughs> yeah the legends of king arthur and the round table um and yeah i just thought it was a good beer to have on and i'll explain why in a minute but i'll pour a pint and we'll we'll give it a whirl and see what it's uh what it's like back on that hand pull and why not for the the uh, football only a couple of hours to go, and we'll find out if uh, if it's going to be ours. Whistling noise there it makes. Yeah, it's been in the fridge this, I've had this chilling down. I bought a nine pint container, um, 20 pound. I've said about them before on here, on the channel, if you look back for the previous videos. Well off the money for the local area, you know, it's Cornwall. Uh, it's, a, it's a family brewery. Tintado Brew, I think they're own, they're, own, they're their own spring water, which is from Chibrava Strand, which is down the road, so it's made with fresh spring water. Uh, and I say their, their beers are great. Sometimes they can be a bit on the sweet side, depending on your palate, but I like them. I think they're a nice, they're a nice, nice beer. And I say a family-run brewery, which is is good. So um, yeah, here it is, all poured out. It's a nice little golden, almost golden colour, it's a tinge of amber, but golden, I suppose, more than anything. Um, pour with a sparkler. You can get um, these beers in a case of 12 bottles um, online. If you go to tintagelbreweries.co.uk, you can order stuff online. You can also get, they do like, they start to do um, uh, pins, like little pins now, you know, the five five litre pins that you can get. They started to do them as well, which is new. new. Um, I was talking to the guy in charge the other day and he was telling me that they can fill them to order if you're down this way. And I suppose it, what, ring up and ask they're going to start and send them to you last a couple of weeks so really worth doing and saying they've got a range of bottles um you can buy mixed mixed cases of 12 and they do a, a, such a wide range of beers so check out their website tintagelbrewery.co.uk i'm just going to come around and get my seat and then we'll have a, a quick chat and a taste and see what it's like so guys i've got my seat um yeah as i was saying the other side of the, of the bar there what um what i found really apt about sir lance not being on uh, so not one, not one is it, it's a nice sort of um it's from Tintagel brewery which is local to me and it's a nice cornish ale as i said from a family brewer but um uh what is sir lance a lot famous for you know the knights of the round table well he's a hero of many battles which is i found this quite apt really a hero of many battles quests and tournaments and famed as a as a nearly unrivaled swordsman and jouster so um I like that. Here are many battles, quests, and tournaments. So I thought that was quite fitting for, um, you know, this tournament that Europe, the Euro, that, you know, that England are in now. So um, yeah, I quite, I, you know, I thought it was babbling beer reviews, guys. <laughs> little things, please, little minds. But I just thought it was very apt for the football. Um, you know, it's been a tournament, ups and downs, more downs and ups. And now we've got to the final. I, I still pinch myself. I think how did we get there? But we're in it. So. Let's, can we get over the line? Can we do it? Can we break that curse? Is it possible? I think it is. So here's to that later on. Back to the beer, Tintagel Brewery beer. Um, yeah, as I say, a nice from a Tintagel glass. Nice golden to amber in colour, nice white head, poured from the pump. Um, lovely. Nice grapefruit sort of scent on the nose. Very nice, it is grapefruity, um, sort of citrusy and a grassy sort of aroma there as well. Very nice. 
Cheers. Here's to the Euros, guys. Let's get it down and see what we think to it. A refreshing hour, this. Almost sort of reminds me of an IPA, but it's smoother than an IPA. I've been beer reviews. Smoother than an IPA. I've only had this one, I promise. Might be talking like that later on. Lots of babbling later on. We'll have to do a few of these if we, especially if we win. Um, yeah, it's clear as anything. Oh, I say it's clear. It, it, it's no, it's smooth as anything. There's no bubbles. It is clear. There's a bit of a haze on it because I've had it. In the, I've had it in the fridge, cooling. It's been nice and cold. So, the sun's outside. I thought a nice cold, cold beer. And it's a, so it's a pale ale. Very smooth. First thing that I get from it is that grapefruit, hints of grapefruit, um, and then a nice zesty sort of citrus flavour in there. So grapefruit, citrus, zesty, 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 zesty. Have beer reviews. A zesty citrus sort of notes coming through there, flavourings coming through. Um, nice golden malts. Very, very subtle sweetness, very subtle. It is really a perfect pale ale. It's, it's lovely, it's a 4.2%. I say so it's made with their own spring water. Uh, this isn't their brewed with pure Cornish spring water. Um, yeah, a little bit of a tingle on the end of my tongue. Cheers. There's a nice hoppiness as well, a sort of lovely lingering hoppiness, but it's it's nice. I mean, it's mixing with that grapefruit there. It's just it's just all round pleasant, um, pleasant sort of dancing, you know, on on your taste buds. On your on yeah, it just just dancing away. There makes you want to go back for more, and lots of babbling. <laughs> Cheers. As you can see, it won't take long to get through that. Very smooth as well. I'd say it's a good session will be that. It's 4.2. Ideal for a football tournament or, or a match like this. To celebrate the end of the tournament, especially if we win it. Um, yeah, it's just a good, good, good all-rounder. I mean, that, that, look at that lovely lacing. Lacing of the glass. You see that on there, look, all that lovely froth as I pour it with a sparkler. Lovely about a bit of froth on the with the sword in the stone there for Tintagel. I don't know if you can see that. Lovely. Excalibur, is it? Uh yeah, relax. You're on Cornish time. So if you ever down this way and you see that. There's plenty of uh, uh, pubs, especially in, in Tintagel itself, that do Tintagel brewery beers. Um, and they say they do a wide range from Arthur's Hour, I've said before, is a good one. Merlin's Muddle is a 5.2 if you want a bit of a bit of an air banger. Um, Harbour Special, I've done a few on this channel as well if you look back. Castle Gold is a nice uh, low ABV sessional beer, but even this, 4.2%, this is a nice sessional pint. And I say, if you like sort of your your grapefruit, uh, citrusy, zesty sort of flavours, then you're going to enjoy this. And it's smooth as well. Very smooth. Just a nice, a nice sort of golden colour, sessionable ale from Tintagel Brewery. So, no more babbling. Uh, <laughs> um, of course I babble. It wouldn't be my channel without it, would it? Uh, let's do it, guys. Let's hope for the best. Come on. Come on, three lines, let's do it. Let's hope we can get over that line and uh, bring that trophy home. Wouldn't it be lovely? Wouldn't it be lovely? You know, just to, just to have it, have that win. And uh, somebody said to me a little while ago, you know, women did it. And, yeah, I think it's a bit of a different game now. I'm not saying it's not, you know, it wasn't difficult, but I don't know. Just the, the build up in it. And have you, are you off work tomorrow? You know, have you made your excuses in case we do win? And, uh, you know the celebrations go on to the early hours. <laughs> I 
I'm sure there'll be a few people ringing in tomorrow. Hey. So yeah, what do we give it? What do I rate it out of? Do you buy it? Yes, definitely get online, check out their website and have a look at their, their beers on there. And so you can order mixed cases, you can order 12, 12 of one particular thing if you want it. Um, as I say, they do, do a range of beers. Uh, Caliburn's a good one if you like a dark dark beer as well. That's a nice, I've done that on there, I've reviewed that on there and I enjoyed that. That was a nice one. Um, and as I say, Mooney's Muddle, if you like stronger beers, it's something for everybody. So check it out, Tintagel Breweries. Um, I think if you, if you were down here older, you can get them in some of the local shops, the little village shops and different places, some of these sort of farmers markets and things, you'll find their beers are stocked, as I say, and in, in the local pubs that are down there. Um, definitely, I think, sort of Tintagel, Padstow, around that sort of area, you'll pick them up. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to raid it, this one. Oh, it's definitely up there for me, guys. Oh, do I, I'm going to put it as a 10. It's a 10 for me. I love my hours, and I think that's a nice, real good sectional beer. Uh, 10 out of 10, um, they've brung it home with this one, and all we need to do now is bring it home. So guys, enjoy the match, um, and hopefully the next time I do a video, we'll, uh, we'll be the champions in Europe, eh? We might just do it. Come on, enjoy the football, guys, enjoy the rest of the weekend, and I'll catch you here soon for another Babbling Beer Review. Oh, by the way, the nine-point containers, before I go, were 20 pounds as well so if you want if you're down this way and you want a nine pint container um you can drink it straight out of that um or if you've got a beer engine pipe it onto that 20 pound for, for nine pints which i think is quite reasonable in today's you know with today's prices in the pub so yeah but so you can get it in bottles and they're now doing these containers these pins uh they're 30 pound though for nine pints so although they're better if you want them to last longer if you're down this one, you're going to drink it within a day or a couple of days. 20 quid, nine pints. Can't go wrong, can you? Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you soon. Come on, England!